Hello, and welcome to the Techno Farm, your one stop destination for technology. I am your tech boss, Private. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Kindly click the bell icon to get notification for my future posts. It's the people's choice. Yes, it's number one. Hello, everyone. I'm your tech boss, Pradeep, and today I will be discussing about. TeleLight Pro application. You have already heard about TeleLight application, right? If you have not heard it already, or if you have not used it already, there is another video created by me on the TeleLight application. So I will strongly recommend you to listen that podcast first because in this episode, I will just highlight some of the new features of TeleLight Pro. So as the name suggests, TeleLight Pro is an environment where you can experience professional quality of environment in terms of accessibility and usability okay so without much talk let's come to the main point i'm opening the main menu of telelight to show you some of the highlights of telelight pro application main menu button i'll go to the customize message option customize messages i'll double tap on it customize messages save in the normal telelight application you have also got that menu, Customize Messages, where there are several items, several features which were unique in Telelight. In Telelight Pro, you are already receiving those options. Along with that, there are some new options provided in Telelight Pro. Let me explore what are the options over there. Most of the options are self-explanatory, so I'll not elaborate on those options. Downloading or uploading on one. Downloading or uploading, so it will announce where something is downloading or uploading message type on two message type and as you can see that it is on so you can double tap to turn it off if you turn it off then talkback will not announce that so you can configure everything which you want your screen reader to announce sender on three sender on message body on four message body on it should be i believe caption body on five it will also announce the caption body that's cool File name and size on 6. File name and size. Audio and music duration on 7. Audio and music duration. Video size and duration on 8. Video size and duration. Send and scene status on 9. Send and scene status. That's fine. Downloaded or not downloaded on 10. Downloaded or not downloaded. Very helpful. Whether the message is downloaded or not. Especially for the media files. Forwarded from on 11. Forwarded from. Replied to on 12. Replied to. Replied message on 13. Replied message. That's a cool feature. Time on 14. Time. Date on date. 15. Number of views on 16. Number of views. That's cool, isn't it? So I can see, especially in case of groups, how many of the members have seen or viewed my message or someone's message. Played status of voice around video on 17. Played status of voice and video. Great. Okay, that's the end of this menu. So as you can see, some features were previously there in Telelight, but some of the new features have also been added and those are cool. So I am pressing the back button for now. Telegram. Customize messages. Let me explore the next option. Customize chats. Customize chats. This option was also present in the previous Telelight application. But as usual, some items or some new features have been added in this menu as well. So let me explore. Customize chats. Save. Reset. Help. Unread messages. On. One. Unread messages. That's cool. Name. On. Two. Name. Last message. On. Three. Last message. Time of last message. On. Four. Time of last message. Type. On. Five. Type. Message type. Pinned or not. On. Six. Whether it is pinned or not, very helpful for the channels and groups. Participant user status. On. Seven. Participants user status. That's cool. Check. On. Eight whether it's checked or not. Okay, that's the end of this menu. So I'm pressing the back button. Telegram, customize chats, advanced options. And now we will explore the advanced options. As usual, this option was present in the previous Telelight application, but some are new features. So let's explore it. Data and storage, data and storage, unchecked, not autoplay next voice. It says unchecked, not autoplay next voice. As you know, in Telegram, if you receive some voice message, 
if you play the last unread voice message, it will automatically play the rest of the voice messages. But here you can configure it. For example, here it says Uncheck, not autoplay next voice. Not autoplay next voice. It is unchecked. So if I check that, that means it will not play the voice messages automatically. Okay? So let's see what's next. Check. Read participant user status on chat list page. Read participants user status on chat list page. Cool. Uncheck. Categorize chats. Unchecked categorize chat. So you can categorize your chat, which I have unchecked, but it is checked by default. Uncheck. Professional audio controls. Professional audio controls. This feature was present in the previous Telelight applications, so you know it better than me, right? Uncheck. Read images in Persian. Read emojis in Persian. So if you check that box, it will read out the emojis in Persian. By the way, in terms of emoji, in Telelight Pro 1.1, most of the emojis have been made accessible. But there are still some emojis which are not accessible till now. But we can promise that in the subsequent update, the rest of the emojis will be made accessible. Okay? So let's see what's next. Uncheck. Professional microphone. Professional microphone. Old feature. Check. Button for fast switching between accounts. Button for fast switches between accounts. So as you know that in Telelight, we have the greatest opportunity to create up to 10 account and use it in the same application. So if you have multiple accounts, in the normal Telelight application, you have to go to the settings and then change your account. But in Telelight Pro, you'll get the option to switch your account in the main Telelight Pro screen. Very cool feature, isn't it? Check. Use Jalali date and time format instead of Gregorian format. So you can select your preferred format of date and time. Check. Beep sound before and after recording a voice message. Great feature in Telelight Pro. It will play a beep in the start and the end of the voice record. So you'll be sure that you have recorded your message correctly. Check. Announce download or upload progress of files each 10%. Beta. So if you check this box, it will announce percentage of uploading and downloading stuff by 10%. But it is in beta stage for now. Check. Hide instant camera and recommended gallery items on attach menu. Very helpful feature. Hide instant camera and gallery items in the attach menu. So if you have used the attach menu previously, you have already seen that there are gallery items there is an option called instant camera where you can capture a photo and instantly upload to the telegram etc etc. These features are cool, no doubt about that. But we, the visually impaired person, don't use it very often. So you can hide those buttons so the attachment will be cleaner than before. Right? Very helpful for me, personally. Check. Automatically focus on edit box when entering chat. So if you check this box, it will automatically focus your screen reader to the chat edit field. And then you can just double tap to bring out the keyboard and start chatting. Very helpful. So that is the end of the advanced options. So I'm pressing the back button to get out from this menu. Telelight Pro, main menu, button. There are some other features in Telelight Pro which are not present in other application as of now. One of the features is called Preview or Legal Ghost Mode. So what it does actually, let's say you have sent me some messages, right? If I click on the conversation, I can read all of your messages. At the same time, the blue tick status in your account will change. So you will come to know that I have viewed or I have read your messages. But in some cases, I may not like you to know that I have read your messages, right? So in this case, the preview feature will help me. It almost works like the hide last seen status in WhatsApp. But it is very flexible here because you can do it on conversation basis and you can do it whenever you want. You don't need to configure for everyone. Right? So the question is how can we do that? Unfortunately, I don't have any unread messages from any conversation for now. But I can show you how it works. For example, if you swipe from here. Telegram. Search button. Pradip Pradip switch to next account button. Okay, here is the switch to the next account. Though I have only one account. Asan Nagipur activated. Last message last seen at. Okay, so I have a message from Mr. Ahsan. Let's imagine that I have some unread messages from Mr. Ahsan. I want to view these messages. But I want that Mr. Ahsan will not come to know that I have read his messages. So, 
instead of double tapping on his conversation, I can just double tap and hold. Options. So I am getting an option window, right? So let's see what are the options I'm getting. Options, preview, legal ghost mode, button. Here is the option called preview, legal ghost mode. I'm also getting the options like delete, delete button, mute, button. mute button, etc. But I'm clicking on the preview button. Preview, legal ghost mode, button. ASIN Nagipur, enter text, edit box, end of field. So you can see that I am now in the enter text field. And if I swipe, I can read all the messages. But the thing is, Mr. Asan will not come to know that I have read his messages because the blue tick status will not change. Very cool feature, isn't it? So I'm pressing the back button to get out from this preview window. Telegram, main menu, button. And I'm in the main window once again. There are some more features in Telelight Pro. I'll strongly encourage you to read the changelog to know the new features which are introduced in Telelight Pro. You'll get the changelog in the official Telelight channel. There are some more features like entering Telegram as a bot, but I'll have to record a new podcast on those features. In the meantime, you can enjoy the Telelight Pro application. By the way, if you are living in India and if you don't have the international payment system, you can purchase Telelight Pro application from me. I am the official reseller of India. So just get in touch with me. My mobile slash WhatsApp slash Telegram number is plus 91, which is my country code, and then 9883669711. Once again, 9883669711. You can also drop me an email. My email ID is info at pradeepshikdar.com. It is I-N-F-O at P-R-A-D-I-P-S-I-K-D-A-R dot com. I hope this podcast will encourage you to use Telelight Pro as a pro. Goodbye.